Hey, it's Joe Glantz from the Automator. And the other day I shared a video talking through how I was doing the search for place in my Word, MS Word doc. And uh, for whatever reason, when you convert it to a PDF, Word no longer embeds the hyperlinks in there. You have to save it in a certain way. So I goofed um, and I didn't go and check, which it, anyway, I've never seen this before. It's weird, but I wanted to demonstrate how I I said, you know what, this should be part of this process. When I replace the, the links, add it to where I do the uh, save the version because I was doing it manually and like, why not make this as part of it? So let's jump in here and show you because I didn't have an example of it. So let me show you how I did it. So this is the actual code down here. But what I did was macros record macro. Okay, there we go. Now we're recording. Now I'm going to do a save as. So here you do what it is you're trying to get the code for, right? So it's great that you can have this in here. I'm gonna save as PDF. Now here, what I learned is I have to come in here and I had to add this check mark here to say the options. I also added this. Uh, I'm not too sure on the other options, but uh, those are the two that did. And when I did it, it worked. So I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna hit save. Yeah, I'm gonna replace, fine. Now I'm gonna, it actually is gonna launch it. And look, so here, now we can see down in the bottom right in the status bar area, we can see the hyperlinks, right? And if I click it, the image was hyperlinked, but it looks like it didn't come through. So that comes up as subscribing to my channel. So good, the PDF works. So what we're gonna do is come in here and say, stop recording. And then we're gonna view macros and we're gonna, here's the example, right? We're gonna edit it. So this one above is the one, um, and let me just, I'm gonna get rid of it so I can show you specifically in real world now here we don't need that so this is the code in vba right we need auto hotkey uh, the good thing is they're really close um one of the things though is in vba in microsoft word microsoft word has defined a lot of default values and they're using variables but they don't really tell you but see this wd export format pdf that is actually a number it's not a uh, value like that, but it's being used as a variable. And again, we don't really know that, but just by looking at it and studying it, you can learn it. And the other thing I, I'm gonna point out here is how VBA continues lines is they have a space underscore. So this is all really one line. So it treats it as one line and we're gonna convert that in a bit into auto hotkey code. But what I like to do is say, okay, here's the real world. I don't wanna mess with that. I wanna have a copy of it, right? So that's what I did in the other one. So I'm gonna give this and this may cause an issue if I left it the same name, so I'll give it a different name. And then what I start doing is I start going through and look at like that path is perfectly fine. That'll work in auto hotkey. Um, and actually like this, I might put that onto the same line, which is perfectly fine. So that'll work fine. Now here, export format, this WDF, what is that? We'll look at here, right click, say quick info. That's 17, right? Okay, so what you do is you put in 17. Or what I could do is I could create a variable up above with that text and make it equal 17 and then use the variable here. Right now, I'm writing auto hockey code in VBA. We're not gonna run it in VBA, but we're just using their editor, right? So for each one of these, now the true works similar in auto hotkey. So you can, I think you can substitute a one if you want to, but it'll auto hotkey will understand true and use a one. So that's fine. Um, this one actually optimized four. And let's bring this up again, just onto the same line here. So the WD export optimized for on screen. And so let's look at that quick info. Uh, it's a one. So we're gonna put a one. Uh, range, again, right click, quick info. Uh, it's a zero, interesting, okay, zero. Oops, zero, okay. Uh, da, da, da. Item, I don't know what item is, but quick info, zero, zero. Uh, include props, true, 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 okay, this goes on to the next one, quick info, one, one, okay, I believe I got all of those, um, and if you wanted to, we should be able to, let's see, let's change this to bonus vid, uh, it's bigger so it's easier spot, vid, and I'm going to, do, do I need to highlight the thing? There it goes. So vid, so see this is here, this created this one. So everything, and it's just a good test, a baby step test of like, okay, VBA, it can have either those constants kind of listed as they were because they're variables or the number, because it, it doesn't matter, right? That's what 
BBA is doing in the background is, is when it sees that word, the above word up here, it is substituting the number for what it is, right? So um, that's why this works. Now we're going to take this and copy it and we'll go over into my auto hotkey code. Let's scroll down a little here. So here, and that's basically what you can see here is, uh, oh, then the other thing is in this one, I just, you know, remove these underscores and I could flatten it all into one line, but um, I just did it because auto hotkey uses a comma to help continue from, you know, comma or a period to say that's part of the, the same line. Um, and, but I could flatten it all to one if I wanted to. And uh, so this, and I put in a variable here so I can put in version um, and up above, I brought these things. So. What I would probably do is actually, hmm, I might make this the same as this, and that way it automatically is naming it with what this new extension is, and I don't have to worry about the version name, but you get the idea, right? So I'm using, again, and from that other video, these little if things, just tell it whether to you know, run this section or not. So here we connect to the active document. Uh, right now I'm not doing the search replace because uh, it's already been done, but I need to work on that, uh, but it'll run just fine. And then the one here is gonna execute this. It, oh, sorry, I forgot one critical thing. When you bring this in, so notice here, right? I'm gonna bring this back over. Um, what you need to do is see this as active document dot export as blah, 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 right? So notice here, you need to be able to, you need to tell auto hotkey, give it a pointer to connect to that word document, right? Critical, critical step. And I'm, I'm so glad I remember to mention it here uh, because auto hotkey itself, you know, when you're using VBA, VBA knows what you're doing because it's already connected. It's built in with Word. When you're using AutoHotKey, you need to be able to reference Word. And so that's what this pointer, which we, we create up here, we connect to the application, the active application, activate it. Uh, but we're using this doc reference, right? That's where we created it and then start referencing it. And so we need to basically create a pointer to be able to connect to that Word document and do these actions. Uh, so yeah, so I hope that uh, helps walk it through. Um, I've run this. With, let's let's do a live one here. Um, I don't know if this the space. You know what? Just because I don't want to have it break, I'm not sure if that. So I'm gonna save this, relaunch it, and now when I run it, I don't recall. Oh, good, it did launch it. Look, here's the cool beans. So it's automatically did it just like the other one. And let's double check to make sure. There's the hyperlink. Let's go ahead and click it. Uh, here's the live on Friday. So if you want live help, you can join here and this will just send you a reminder of every Friday at 10 central standard time, uh, me and Tom beach from tab nation and often John Alon from QAP are, are on here. Just helping people for free. Hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, I don't have a lot of videos. I have a few on word MS word, but, um, if you could also like this video and be a subscriber, be my 6,000th subscriber. I'd appreciate it. Cheers.